This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We really don't want to have to issue out citations so close to Christmas, but we do want people to pay attention while they're driving. If you were driving through Carson City today, you may have noticed a heavy presence of deputies. Their goal was to increase awareness of drivers and pedestrians in crosswalks. Safety Watch tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Good evening, everybody. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Kristen is off this week. Thank you for joining us tonight. The crosswalk enforcement detail comes on the heels of several recent car accidents involving pedestrians this week. Paul Nelson spent some time in Carson City today. He joins us now live in East Reno. Paul, why is the Carson City Sheriff's Office conducting operations like these? Well, Wendy, it's all about education and information. Most pedestrian accidents happen on busy streets in the crosswalk, usually during the evenings, but they're also avoidable as long as drivers and pedestrians pay attention. Does everybody have books and things to get out? It was back to school for many drivers in the capital city today. Yeah, you don't really got to stop and pull back. With the Carson City Sheriff's Office giving an instruction on crosswalk safety. So this car, these cars are here, once they're here, Hold on. Our theme for today is uh, pedestrians have families too, and we'd like to see them spend the holidays with their families as well. Whoa, that's pretty impressive. As you can see, the deputies aren't very inconspicuous, wearing bright orange clothing as they pass through this busy crosswalk on Carson Street. They also have patrol units on each side of the street. It's very, very visible. There's no big secret here. There's nothing sneaky here. We just want people to pay attention. But not all drivers do pay attention or simply ignore pedestrians. Yeah, no, he didn't stop. No. I started coming across the crosswalk and the first person didn't stop and the motorcycle cop took off and went after him. Most of these drivers get a warning, but some get cited depending on the circumstances like speed. We'll kind of just step out on the curb and just kind of wait right here. The goal is to cut back on the amount of accidents where someone is hit by a car. It just seems like every time we have one, we don't get a chance to catch our breath before we have another one. Pedestrian accidents are on the decline in northern Nevada, but Furlong says more can be done, saying drivers and pedestrians have to share the responsibility. The biggest and best advice that you can give a pedestrian is to make eye contact with the drivers. If the driver does not see you, you're going to notice it. Nevada law says the cars have to stop until the pedestrian gets more than halfway across the road. But McDaniel encourages drivers to wait until they get all the way across as a courtesy. Kids especially will be in crosswalks, may forget something at school, spin around, go the opposite direction. If you're not stopped, you're going to hit them. Today's operation ended with 29 people getting pulled over, including 21 for failure to stop for a pedestrian in a crosswalk. Some of the other ones involved following too closely, using a cell phone and speeding. Covering Safety Watch Live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.